Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. This is the Gaming Casual. And we're back here at Bowser's Castle slash, I guess, Peach's Castle. Hey, Twink, how would you feel about sneaking out of here again? Shall we try? Princess Peach, you've gotten so bold. And here, I thought you were a gentle and delicate. Oh, I, I am delicate. I am behaving like a delicate princess, just like the ministers taught me to. I love to be delicate. Okay, okay, I believe you, Peach. You're the princess. Anyway, let's get go for it. Alright, so let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get into now. I guess we gotta figure out what else is going on out there in the world. Get some information from Mario. That has been the drill for the last couple times. So, let's see. Uh, I've been in that door already. I've been in that door. I don't think I've been in this door, so let's take a look. What's in here? Hey, it's a badge. Deep focus badge? I already have one of those. Oh, look! There! What a beautiful crafted treasure chest. Yes, do you like it? This is my mysterious treasure chest that's been passed down through generations of my family here at the castle. Really? How mysterious a mysterious treasure chest. That's right, this chest is connected to another mysterious treasure chest somewhere in the Mushroom Kingdom. They say you can put things in this chest and take them out of the other chest. Isn't that, well, mysterious? Yeah, wow, that's really cool. So where is the other treasure chest anyway? Uh, where is it? Uh, you know, I can't remember. I think this actually is in that tower with that person who can tell you fortunes about where things are. <laughs> Can't get any more specific than that because I don't know the name of that person. Do not take me. But I guess that doesn't lead to anything, but I guess I can put those things in there for Mario to get later. Hmm. Whoa. Whoa. Let's not get caught. I don't want to be. I don't want to get sent back to my room here. I can't really go in there. I haven't been over here. Maybe it's Bomb Mom's battlefield again. Let's go check it out. Whoa. Okay, something's going on in here. Oh, it's Princess Peach. How'd she get out? King Bowser's really gonna flip his wig if we don't take her back to her room. Now, hang on just a second. Get a grip on yourself, okay? No need to pan panic. She can't get out of the castle anyway. And besides, what do you think about asking Princess Peach to participate in our little game? She'd be ideal, and we need a third person. Hmm, yeah, yeah, you might be on to something. Okay, let's do it. Princess Peach, have you been listening? Come this way. We won't tell King Bowser about your escape if you help us with this little game we're playing. We're set up right over here. I don't know about this, guys. What kind of game are we talking about? Oh no, Princess Peach. Because I don't do well at games. Koopa Corpse presents the 64th Trivia. Oh no. I'm your host, My Hammer. Mr. Hammer, I mean. <laughs> My Hammer. I guess that'd be an inappropriate... Let's get right to it. Hey, I'm going to ask you 10 questions and the contestants who get the most right is our winner. Princess, press A when you think you know the answers. Okay, folks, the winner will get a gorgeous, fabulous prize. Good luck to all of you. Oh, and I got to tell you, we're also giving prizes just for participating. So everybody will be a winner. That's just the kind of show we are. Ready? Question one. What's the name of the boss inside of the volcano Lava Lava Island? I think I know. I just beat him. Uh, is it Lava Piranha? Yeah, it is. I'm so smart. Let's go on to the next question. Okay, folks, question two. Where did Mr. Huffinpuff imprison? Oh, what the? The flower and flower fields. That's correct. Oh, okay. That, okay. I want to win, so. I don't even have time to read the question. Uh, chomp. I just saw Dry Dry Outpost and... You still got a chance to come back. Question four. How would you get flower fields? Oh, I don't have time to read it. 
passing through the flower gate? No, you're not supposed to beat me. It's still, it's still anyone's game. Question five. What's the name of the person King Bowser really hates? I didn't get to see the last bit. Uh, Princess Peach? Oh. Must have been really light. Careful now. Question six. What's the most deeply mean? I can't even read that. I want to win. Uh, flower? Well, that was right, somehow. Question seven. What's the name of the most admirable Vinsel? I think it's Tubba Blubba. Oh, wait, no. Bowser. That's the only option. And Invincible is in the question. Alright, I didn't see the question, so... Boo? Hey, what do you know? Use your memory on this one. Question 9. What's the name of the area just south of the post and office toad town? Uh, south? Isn't it Koopa Village? Or the Flower Garden? Probably the Flower Garden, because that's probably where we're going, where, where we are going next. Now for the final question. Stay calm, everyone. Where is Peach's Castle now? In the sky? Right? On Bowser's Castle? That's correct! I'm the winner! What do I win? So the 64th trivia quiz has ended in great success. The winner is, wow, our unexpected guest, Princess Peach. Congratulations, Peach, here's your prize. Jam and jelly? Huh. I guess that's good. I was kind of hoping for money, but... You know, I guess I have everything. Oh, Princess Peach, I almost forgot. Here's your prize for participating. Ooh. This is a sneaky parasol. If you face someone and press B, you can transform into that person. You just have to promise not to use it to sneak around. I mean, nobody would know you were Princess Peach. Imagine. Sorry for giving you such a little prize, Princess. <laughs> hey, it's only a prize for participating, so what do you expect? Well, I did win also, so... Huh? What are you doing? Hey, it looks fun. I'm gonna join in. They don't like Bowser, I don't think. Otherwise, they would have invited him. He could have been the third. What? You've already finished? Ah, of all the rotten luck. Gah! Princess Peach, what's she doing here? She's sneaked out again, grr. You take Princess Peach back to her room now. Yes, sir. Sorry, Princess Peach. No! Well, I guess that was one way to get the information we needed from him. Oh no. Oh yeah, we just got out of the volcano after it erupted. Oh, woe is me, my beautiful treasure. Listen to you. No treasure in the world is more valuable than life, but be thankful you escaped. To think this island was put in terrible peril because of the meddling of Bowser's men. I think it will work out okay. The eruption will have subside and Lava, Lava Island will be just the same as it used to be. But sigh. This place is kind of a dump, so... Dear Mario, you have saved five of us star spirits now. Just a few more to go. My name is Miss Star. Let me grant you the power that will help you along. Hopefully it's good. Because I know I like power. Uh, went up to five. Yeah. Oh yeah, she gives you a lot of health. I have to go back to Star Haven for now, but if you need me, please call me at any time. I will be watching you and wishing you for your success. I know you'll see the princess soon enough, Mario. Have faith. Thank you again for saving me. See you soon. I guess that's okay. She just gives you health. I would like a star that gives me firepower. Oh, I was so close. The treasure's right there. And then to get saved and yelled at by some sort of blooming great starfish. He looks so sad. But don't worry. We'll go get his treasure. Okay. Here it is, the treasure that Colorado was risking his life for. You got the volcano base. A base to put his flowers in. Doesn't even say it's made of gold or anything. It just... We should give back the treasure to him, or at least give it to him. Mario, good heavens, it's the treasure. How on earth did you... Well, I suppose that's of no consequence right now. You're giving it to me? Yeah. You, you are giving it to me? Oh, glory, marvelous. Dear man, you are quite simply the cat's meow. Cheers. Give me something. Yes, hmm, I suppose it's only proper that I give you this to you as a thanks. Magical seed, eh? 
A bulb gave it to me while I was <laughs> off exploring. I'm sure it's quite a valuable seed, but I'm not interested in it at all. Now that I've got the treasure, I proclaim this adventure to be a complete success. What a stupendous expedition. It will be forever recorded in the history of archaeology. Well, old boy, let's away. Back to Toad Town with us. Well, Mario, old boy, certainly took your time, eh? Let's head back together, hmm? I guess. If you want to, Colorado, but it didn't take that long. All I did was change my badge out. What a heady adventure. Adieu, Lava, La uh, Lava, Lava Island. Perchance someday I shall return to your shores. Oh, no. This little bugger. Look at him. So stupid. Well, I, I don't even remember what the point of this guy is, other than just to kind of, you know, disrupt your fun. I'm just trying to get to the next area, and he's like, oh, I'm going to fight you because I'm mad. You saw me naked in my shell. You know, and he's so dumb, he's swimming. I mean, I, why would you go, why wouldn't you just wait for Mario to come back? You know he's going to. He's that out for vengeance. He'd rather swim across the ocean to kill you. And did what I is what I did to you that bad to motivate you so for murder? Thank heavens we arrived now. Tuna ferrying is one experience I shan't do again. Cheers for the ride, though. I'm in your debt. For now, I'm heading back to Koopa Village to relax. My wife must be waiting for me. Perhaps our paths will cross again in the future, old boy. Cheerio. I hope not. You were annoying. It's a good thing I didn't have to protect you like an NPC. Wait. It's you again. I knew this was coming. I will never swim again for the rest of my life. Now, Mario, you're mine this time. Ah, yeah. Okay, I don't think much has changed with him, other than he's just a little bit more powerful. And I have my uh, badge that's jump on his spiky head that he's gonna have. Oh no, all that swimming. Yeah, you wasted your energy swimming. All the good your power is gonna do for you, because I'm gonna kill you. You murdered my paw, and now I'm gonna kill you. No, I don't know. He's just annoying. Ooh, he's gonna let me do more damage. Hopefully I can actually get a couple bounces on out of it. Hey, there's one. There's another. Yeah, take that. Slimy headed jerk. Hey, that was a pretty good jump. <laughs> well, I'll take that, 22 star points. You weren't nothing, son. Yeah, you're pretty stupid. Take that. Kick him when he's down. That's how we do it. Alright. Let's go find things to do in Toad Town. Before we head off to Flower Fields. And I just remembered I had to get another seed that I didn't get in... Um, the spooky forest. So let's go do that. All right, here's a bulb. Give me that magic f seed. Hey, hello there. I'm Bul Bulb from the land I called Flower Fields. A flower f seed. <laughs> Should I give it to you or shouldn't I? Well, I suppose I'll give it to you. Here you go. Thanks, jerk. Please plant it somewhere nice and take extra good care of it. If you plant it somewhere bad and I find out about it, I might place a curse on you. <laughs> Yeah, right. All right, there's uh, secrets over here to uh, get. There's a star piece, and I think there might be something good in that sewer. So let's go explore down there. I don't know if it connects to the bigger part of the sewer, or if it's just its own little uh, sewer section, but we'll go check it out. Hey, what's down here? Oh, nice. We can upgrade one of our party members to ultra rank. Let's go with Bo. 
Yeah, I do want to upgrade bow. And I remember there was that one I wasn't able to get in the sewer. In the proper sewer, so... Let's go back there. Okay, let's upgrade, I guess, Bombat. I don't want to upgrade Paracarry, I barely use him. I know I'm going out of the order that I was going to do, but... Meh. Who knows when the next one of these things will come. And I might need Bombat sooner than I use Paracarry. Hopefully I'm not wrong about that. Alright, if we come down here, we can find another blooper. So let's do that. Blooper! Oh, great. This one's, I think, really strong. So let's try to power bounce at it. Uh, nope. We'll use bow. See our new move. It does like 10 damage. Maybe more, I don't know. This is a super blooper. Whoa, it's huge. Usually the biggest blooper ever. Max HP 70, attack power 5, defense power 0. Trust me, its size doesn't lie. It's pretty powerful. When it gets mad, it turns red, and its power goes way up. And sometimes it spawns blooper babies. Buckle down, Mari. We're in for a fight. All right. This should be the last jump to kill him. And take that. Stupid creature. I guess I still have to kill this baby. Kill it. Smack it to death. There you go. Now you can die. Join your mom or your dad or whatever the heck it is. Awesome. And this little thing will lead us to Yoshi's Island if we ever want to go back there quickly. Let's explore down All here. Alright, we're pretty close to leveling up again. We got uh, our star points doubled there. So, alright, let's uh, explore the rest of this area. Okay, I don't know how to get those just yet. Oh well, I don't know how to get those yet, so we'll have to come back to that. I think maybe there's another character that will help me uh, solve that puzzle. But I think there's something down here. If you blow up this wall. What the heck? This guy's creepy looking. Well, well, look here. Hello, hello. We're Cheeto at your service. You're quite an enter enterprising fellow finding this place. What am I doing here? Just doing a little business and minding my own. You, my friend, have just stumbled into a great fortune. For I have a deal for you. Okay. But everything back there just led me to this room, which I think leads me to this house. Yeah. Alright, let's go do what we came here to do. Firefield's in a state of despair because of Bowser's minion. Please save us. Oh yeah, we'll talk to you. Bulbulbs come from a flower-filled land called Firefields. They say the flowers in Firefields are in trouble. To get the two flower fields, you need the four kinds of seeds that only Bulbulbs possess. But where are the bull bulbs? Please, Mario, you must look for bull bulbs and get the seeds from them. Maybe Merlin's fortune telling could help you look. I don't need to do that because I already have all the seeds. Let's do it one at a time, goodness. All right, the door is opening. Finally got all those flowers planted. The magic door to flower fields. Uh, yeah, at first it just looked like the flowers were blooming, but suddenly a door appeared. You must be, you must be able to get to the flower fields from here. Mario, flower fields need your aid. Please help. Well, no one else is going to do it, so I'll do it, I guess. Wow. We're entering another dimension. Chapter 6. Alright, well, I think this is as good of time as any to stop. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave a comment. This has been the Gaming Casual, and I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day.